गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट विल स्टार्ट अवर सिलेबस विल स्टार्ट अवर सिलेबस फ्रॉम द सेकेंड चैप्टर सेकेंड चैप्टर एंड थर्ड चैप्टर टुगेदरली वी आर डिस्कसिंग टुगेदर सेकेंड चैप्टर एज ए मेन्शन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो इट कैरी नाइन मार्क्स एंड चैप्टर नंबर थ्री लॉजिक गेट्स कैरी फोर मार्क्स Togetherly, it gives more weightage chapter, thirteen marks. So maybe you have been confused that ma'am was written something. So I mentioned this is zero, two, zero, one, and for the logic gates I have mentioned one zero one zero. What is this? Seventy marks of theory paper. contains part a part b part c part d part a contains one mark 10 questions part b two marks eight questions part c three marks eight questions part d five marks eleven questions so togetherly 37 questions will be there in your theory paper paper will be suited for one not five marks in that you need to write for only 70 marks so here there is no choice in the one mark 10 questions so all you need to write here you need to answer for only five questions here you need to answer for only five questions here you need to answer for only seven questions thus gives you your 70 marks so this 70 marks plus practical 30 marks togetherly gives you Hundred marks paper. Together, it gives you hundred marks paper. So come back here. This means one marks. This means two marks. This means three marks. This means five marks. There is no question from the part A. There is no question from the part A. There are two questions from Part B of two marks. There is no question from the three marks. There is only one question of five marks in Part D. Hope you understood. Come back here. Logic gates I have mentioned one zero one zero. That means one mark one question is there. There is no two marks question. There is a one three mark question and there is no five marks. These two togetherly will discuss for the thirty marks. That means maximum it will cover one mark one question, two marks two question from Boolean algebra, one three marks question from logic gates, and one five marks question from Boolean algebra gives you. Thirteen marks. Then this chapter, that means both the chapter has questions in all the sections, all the sections. So if you concentrate well, this chapter itself gives you thirteen marks. This chapter itself gives you thirteen marks out of seventy. Here we are going to discuss thirteen marks. Do you remember twenty one marks required for passing? This gives you more weightage, right? Yes. This chapter gives you more weightage. Hence, we have started from the Boolean algebra and logic gates. Hope you understood, right? How the mass was distributed here, and what it is represents. We have any doubt with this? Hope you clear. I think so. Yes. 
we'll start our lesson boolean algebra once we discuss few topics then we'll go for the logic gates boolean algebra there are two words here boolean and algebra boolean do you remember boolean bool is a data type used in the c++ bool means bits it contains only two values that is 1 and 0 it is a mathematic used to deal with a binary value hence it is called as boolean algebra an algebra uses mathematical values 1 and 0 in the binary number system hence it is called as boolean algebra the boolean algebra the name is derived with a great mathematician person george boole he is a great english mathematician first he applied this math, uh, boolean algebra in the set theory concept set theory concept then what do you mean by boolean algebra it is a symbolic system of mathematical logic mathematical logic what do you mean by boolean algebra boolean algebra is a systematic sorry symbolic system of mathematical logic used to represent the relationship between entities used to represent relationship between relationship between real world and is real world entities what do you mean by real world entities here every real world entity has only two decisions only two decisions that is either s or no either s or no for example did you had your breakfast few will say s few will say no the chance of s is possible or a chance of no is possible not both that means a boolean algebra which deals with boolean values a boolean algebra is deals with boolean values boolean values what are those boolean values it is 1 and 0 1 and 0 what do you mean by 1 and 0 1 and 0 1 means true zero means false it can also be mentioned as s or no it can also represent high or low did you got it boolean algebra is an algebra which deals with boolean values boolean values it is also called as switching algebra it is also called as switching algebra what do you mean by switching algebra after george boole claude shannon claude shannon applied this boolean algebra in relay of telephone switching 
telephone switching if you want to connect the call connected call is represented as 1 disconnected call is represented as 0 hence boolean algebra is also called as switching algebra it is one of the important question for one marks what do you what is the another name of boolean algebra what is another name of boolean algebra it is called as switching algebra then what do you mean by boolean algebra definition of the boolean algebra it is a symbolic system of mathematical logic used to represent a relationship between entities relationship between entities it deals with it deals with which value boolean values what are the boolean values 1 and 0 1 and 0 1 means true 0 means false. This we can also write it as yes or no, high or low, high or low. It is also called as switching algebra. Claude Shannon applied this technique in telephone switching. Hence it is called as switching algebra. Switching algebra. Hope you understood. Please once again we correct the definition. Boolean algebra. It is a symbolic system of mathematical logic. Used to represent a relationship between the entities. Relationship between the entities. Boolean algebra deals with Boolean values. The Boolean values are 1 and 0. It is also called as switching algebra. Switching algebra. 1 means true. 0 means false. Boolean algebra is used to evaluate the logical statement. Boolean algebra is used to evaluate the logical statements. The real world situations, whatever we have been taken as an example, did you had your breakfast? That is called as a logical statement. This logical statement gives the result yes or no. That means this is evaluated using Boolean algebra. The statements which is evaluated using Boolean algebra logically is called logical statement. Logical statements. How we are going to evaluate this one? We are going to evaluate this one using Boolean values or it may be variables. Or it may be a constant. Directly you can take 1 and 0. Or you can represent x and y. x as 1, y as 0. Otherwise a constant value similarly 1 and 0. 1 and 0. Then. What are the operations it is possible to perform in Boolean algebra? That is logical operators. 
देर आर थ्री लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स देर आर थ्री लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स एंड और नॉट एंड और नॉट द लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स is used to evaluate the logical statement logical statement before that a small discussion about truth table what do you mean by truth table it is a table it is a table contains all possible inputs with evaluated outputs with evaluated outputs a truth table is a table contains all possible input all possible inputs a truth table is a table contains all possible inputs and output recorded in true or false values true or false values otherwise 1 and 0 otherwise yes or no s r no you did got the definition of truth table what do you mean by truth table it is a table used to represent all possible inputs all possible inputs and output recorded in true or false values or called truth table the result of the truth table the result of the truth table the proposition of the output of the logical statement the proposition of the proposition of the logical statement output is always true is always true is called tautology what do you mean by tautology the result of the boolean expression is always true the result of the boolean expression is always true is called tautology the result of the boolean expression is always false is called as false is called false the result of the boolean expression the output of the given expression is always false is called false is called false